So here's a classic version of a GMAT question using percent change with sales figures. And if you want to pause the video and give it a try, I encourage you to do it. I'll start with the concept in just a second. So if we look at this situation, we actually have three prices in play here. And the first price is the sale price uh, or discount price that we discount to. The other price is the full price. And finally, we have the cost. And so we have these three prices in play, and I just want to conceptualize them together. So we know there's relationships between certain prices. We have, for example, that we're running a 25% off sale on the sunglasses. This means the discount price is worth 75% of the full price. Because we've discounted by 25%, we are left with three quarters of the original price. Now we know that the cost is equal to something that would set the discounted price as a 50% profit on cost, which means this discount price must be equal to 150% of the cost because 150% would represent a 50% increase on the cost. And 150 is the same, over 100 is the same as 15 over 10, which is equal to three halves C. So I know that the discount price is equal to three quarters of the full price. I also know it's equal to three halves of the cost. And I can now set up a formula where I have three fourths of F is equal to three halves of C, since these are both equal to the value of the discount price, they're equal to each other. And if I cross multiply the four and the two, I will get six F equals 12 C, which means F is equal to 12 C over six. And that means F is equal to two times C. And if F is equal to two times C, that's the same as 200% of C which means it's an, a 100% increase. So if it had been at full price, we would have earned a 100% profit on this sale. So that's how you work through the math. You try to find a bridge, which in this situation was the discount price. You represent each of the variables with a multiplier that tells you how much of that value there is as a final total. So since we had a 25% off sale, we ended up with three quarters of the full price being equal to the discount price. And because we knew that the discount price represented a 50% profit, that profit is represented in terms of cost, meaning the 50% increase was in terms of the cost, which meant we ended up with 150% of the cost, and then just simply walk through the math to finish it out.